So hello my dear students, no? so welcome to the second part of our discussion no? for home office and branch accounting. So in this video and the succeeding videos, we'll be discussing na, no? the accounting for branches. So a branch, no? so a branch is a business unit no? located at some distance from the home office. No? So as what we have discussed before when we distinguish uh, the agency and a branch. So, a branch carries merchandise obtained from the home office. No, it makes sales, approves customers credit, makes collection from its customers, and, re and remits cash received. So, unlike agency, um, that are simply extension from the home office, so branches generally are with regulated autonomy to operate as an independent entity. So, pardon, C branch uh, is a separate you know, economic and accounting entity um, from the home office. So, there are two alternative systems you know, uh, for um, accounting systems a branch now there are two alternative system so first is um, the branch uh, does not maintain no, a complete set of accounting records so this happens when no, um, yung accounting system is centralized no so uh, nangyayari uh, the branch maintain only limited lim limited accounting records in uh, submits source documents to the home office for entry in the centralized accounting system or parang ang nangyayari um, it's just the same with an agency no, na walang separate accounting record so ang second alternative is um, the branch maintain no, a complete sets of accounting records therefore all its transactions including with those with the home office the transactions with the home office are recorded in its books and also um in this particular um, alternative no financial statements are prepared by the branch so the branch will prepare it's um, separate financial statements such as income statement, balance sheet, and the statement of cash flows. But because no, the branch is but a part of the home office, therefore, this um, separate financial statements presented, um, prepared uh, by the branch is not acceptable. No, um, for general purposes. So, di ba ang nangyayari? Si branch will prepare its own set of financial statements and the home office no, will also prepare its financial statements. And since the home office is just also a part of the whole organization, no, kasi the whole organization is the home office and all its branch, its branches. No? So, um, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the statement of cash flows no, prepared by the home office is also not acceptable for general purposes. So, these two different set of financial statements are internal to each of the reporting entities. No? So, combined financial statements must be prepared for the combined entities, no? meaning to say the home office and the branch taken no? as one no? or the same to meet the requirements for general purpose financial statements. Kasi nangyayari, no? the branch and its home office represents two accounting systems. That's two accounting systems, but just one accounting and reporting entity. That's why we should prepare um, combined no, financial statements. So our discussion would focus um, primarily with the second alternative, meaning to say the branch uh, has its own set uh, 
uh, has its own complete set of accounting records. So there are transactions no, that uh, are internal and external. Maybe to say, uh, transactions the branch um, so other parties. No? But also there are transactions the branch um, uh, with the home office. So transactions may occur in both the home office and the branch which are called intercompany accounts or this this we call intercompany transactions no so these accounts are reciprocal accounts between the home office and the branch so um we'll discuss na no the reciprocal accounts no so the account maintained in the home office book is called investment in branch account or branch current while the account maintained in the branch books is called the home office or home office current so so books the home office that's investment in branch account then so books the branch that's home office or home office current so para nakakalito no so kasi so books the home office that's investment in branch or branch current no diba then so books the branch that's home office or home office current so when the home office prepare its own financial its separate financial statements rather um the investment in branch account will be presented as an asset and then in the books of the branch the home office or home office current will be presented as an equity no equity account therefore since the investment in branch account is an asset it has a normal debit balance and then since the home office or the home office current is an equity account it has a normal credit balance so let's discuss first the home office ledger account this account is used by the branch to account for all transactions with the home office no it is credited for all assets you know, provided by the home office to the branch and it is debited for all the assets transferred by the branch to the home office so this account now represents the net investment by the home office and in branch so at the end of the period the balance of the income summary of a branch is close to the home office account. So, di ba, um, as what I've said kanina, in the books of the branch or in the separate financial statements of a branch, the home office current account is an equity account, di ba? In sa normal um, na entity, nor like uh, the sole proprietor uh, entities, no? And parang sa partnership na entities, di ba, um, gina-close natin yung income summary sa capital accounts, no? So, owner's equity account or capital account. And since um, sa, sa branch, no, yung capital account niya is the home office. So, therefore, yung income summary account, it close niya sa home office account being its capital or equity account. Okay? Yung investment in branch ledger account naman, no? San to? Sa books ng home office. So, this account is a reciprocal ledger account to the home office account, no? It is used by the home office to account for all transactions with all its branches, no? So, um, the investment in branch account is debited for all the assets no, and merchandise no, uh, transferred from the home office to the branch or they provide the home office guy. And since um, uh, yung investment in branch account no, is parang um, investment ni home office um, kay branch. So, every time na um, may income si branch, no, i-record siya ni home office as a debit. Also, it is credited for cash other assets na received from the branch. And it shall also be credited 
if my lossy branch. No? So, a debit yung investment, if my profit, tsaka a credit yung investment pag may loss. Okay, okay no? In summary, no? Um, the investment in branch account has a normal debit balance. Then, the home office account has a normal credit balance. So, every time that the investment in branch account is debited, the home office current account is credited. Uh, and every time that the investment in branch account is credited, the home office current account is debited. Or, should they say, no? um, if the investment account uh, is increased, the home office current account shall also be increased. No. And then the end, every time that investment account uh, will be decreased, no, um, uh, mag-decrease din dapat yung home office current account. Pero, uh, yung, uh, yung entries, di ba, uh, every time na i-increase mas investment account, in branch account, i-debit. Every time mag-increase ka ng home, home office current account, credit. Every time na mag-decrease ka ng investment in branch account, credit. Then, that's a uh, uh, counterpart niya, debit na home office, current. So, every time na there are assets transferred to the branch, no? so, so, for example, cash, uh, debit ng um, investment in branch account si home office, credit ng cash. So, uh, of course, si branch will receive the cash. So, debit siya ng cash. Of course, credit siya ng home office. So, what if there are assets transferred from the branch? For example, remittance. Nag-remit ng cash si branch kay home office. So, of course, there is a cash outflow kay branch. So, of course, uh, the branch will debit home office and will credit cash. Then, di ba? Si home office shall receive the cash. So, debit ng cash si home office, of course, will credit investment in branch account. No? So, um, as what I've said kanina, no? So, when a branch has a profit, no? So, di ba, pag may profit, it should increase the capital account. No? Since, um, uh, pag mag-record ka ng profit, no? um, the income summary account has a credit balance. No? So, uh, to record that one, to close the income summary, so, uh, your debit income summary, credit home office current account, or di ba, pag may profit, it will uh, it will increase, no, the um, capital account, no. So, in this case, mag-increase yung home office account. So, di ba, pag may branch profit, no, uh, it will increase also the investment in branch account in the books of the home office. No? So, yung entry niya, Debit siya ng investment in branch account, credit siya ng branch income. So, whenever the branch has a loss, kapag may loss si branch, of course, um, the income summary account has a debit balance. So, to close that one, you credit uh, income summary, no? you debit home office, credit income summary, diba? So, if my loss, it shall decrease your capital account. So, in, in this case, it is the home office account. And since, no, sa books naman ni, ni, bra, ni home office, rather, sa books ni home office, the investment in branch account shall be credited. So, mag-debit ng branch loss, credit, investment in branch. Um, with a merchandise, no, uh, is shipped no uh, if there is a merchandise shipment to branch no um, if purchase of merchandise are from external parties um, that are to be uh, that are to be recorded by the branch in a normal manner meaning to say a uh, debit ng purchases credit ng cash or accounts payable and if uh, my intercompany shipments, no, my ship si 
home office no ng merchandise kay branch no um uh, in this particular video, we'll discuss muna at cost. So, we'll have a separate discussion, no? For, uh, pwede kasi i-bill ni home office si branch at cost or above cost, no? Okay, so, to record that one, no? Uh, we will also have another reciprocal account, no? In the presence of the shipments to branch and the shipments from home office, so, in the books of the home office, diba, all assets and merchandise provided by the home office to the branch shall be debited to the investment in branch account. So, debit siya investment in branch, credit siya ng shipments to branch. So, books naman ni branch, that's a debit to shipments from home office and a credit to home office. Okay, so, sa so books the home office, shipments to branch, and sa so book the branch, shipments from home office, no? So, the shipments from home office is similar to purchases. So, si, um, si, si branch, no? Um, when it prepares its separate financial statement, um, si branch, when it prepares its a separate financial statement, no? Um, si purchases at si, si shipments from home are added to, to determine the total goods available for sale. No? That's purchases, that's from outsiders, and um, yung, ano, yung shipments from home office, that's internal, that's from home office. Okay, so the shipments to branch account naman in the books ni home office are to be deducted to determine the total goods available for sale. Kasi, diba, um, uh, those were um, shipped to the branch, no? To avoid overstatement of the cost of sale. No, so, it's a normal, uh, it's, it's, it's a um, improper, no, accounting practice if mag-ship tayo kay branch, tas i-record natin as sales. Tapos, i-record siya as purchases ni, ni, ni branch, no? So, dapat, no, we record it to shipments to branch kay a home office and shipments from home office kay branch. So, parang okay lang, uh, okay lang kay branch na i-record niya as purchases din, no? Um, but, also, uh, pero kay side the home office, that's not a sales. No, that's not a sales. Kasi ang intercompany um, shipment, no, makonsider lang siya na sale if si branch makonsider, uh, mas, um, mabenta niya sa outsider, no. That's, uh, that's when um, intercompany shipments will be uh, realized. No? Kasi if the home office will credit it as sales, Diba? And then, si branch, when, uh, when, when the uh, merchandise is sold to outsiders, mag-record naman siya ng sales. So, parang, mag-overstate yung sales kasi nag-record din ng sales si home office. Mag-record din ng sales si branch. Mag-overstate na yung sales. Okay. So, we'll have accounting for plant assets. So, there are instance, no, na um, yung plant assets a purchase ni branch but a record siya ni home office no so um if may ganitong transactions no na uh, uh ibang entity ang nag purchase it's either si branch ang nag purchase or si home office or si ang mag keep ng records is si home office or si branch we should always remember that um um if sino yung mag ng records, siya yung mag record ng asset. Okay? If sino yung mag ng records, if si home office ang mag ng records, siya ang mag-record ng asset. If si branch ang mag ng records, siya ang mag-record ng asset. No? But, um, to account for depreciation, it's always that the expense is kay branch. Kasi si branch naman ang nagamit ng asset. But the accumulated depreciation, magdepende siya if 
Sun. Agi Kim yung record me if di kay home office or kay branch. So we'll have four scenarios for this no. So what if first um the asset no the equipment was purchased by the branch pero ang mag record ng asset or ng equipment is si home office. Now si Si, since si home office man ang mag keep ng record, the home office will debit the investment, the equipment, no? Debit siya ng equipment, of course. Since this is an intercompany transaction or um, credit siya ng investment in branch account. So, debit siya ng equipment, credit siya ng investment in branch account. And then, the, and then di ba, ang nag-purchase kay si branch, no? Of course, may outflow, no? So, um, the credit siya ng cash, of course, mag-debit siya ng home office. No? So, um, ito, ito yung case na ito, ang nag-purchase si branch, but ang nag keep ng record si home office. But to account for depreciation, no? di ba? Ang, ang mag-record always ng expense si branch. So, mag-debit siya ng depreciation expense, credit siya ng home office. No? Um, para kasi siyang expenses na um, up, niya, na i- i-allocate ni home office or branch. No? So, since um, nasa home office ang equipment, the related account, accumulated depreciation, dapat na kay home office din. So, parang, when, uh, pag mag-record ng depreciation, it shall be debited to investment in branch. This si home office mag-record ng depreciation. It's because the asset was used by the branch. So, yung gawin ni home office, no, mag-debit siya investment in branch account, credit siya ng accumulated depreciation. Okay. Okay, so yung case 2. So, what if, um, Uh, what if it was purchased by the branch, um, recorded also in the branch, no? So, um, so home office, walang entry, no? Pero si branch, um, debit siya ng plant assets, credit siya ng cash. Kasi di ba ang nag-purchase si branch? And then, nag-keep ng records din si branch. So, the branch will record the asset also kasi siya mo keep ng record. So, enter niya, debit plant asset, credit cash. And since nakibrunch ang ano ang asset, of course, nakibrunch din ang accumulated depreciation. So, for entry, for recording depreciation, no, um, there's no entry din kay home office. Then, kasi si branch naman din ang mag-record ng depreciation expense. No? Diba? Okay, let's have the third scenario. But if it was purchased by the home office, but a record siya kay branch, no? So, if ang um, nag-purchase, no, si home office, no? Of course, the home office will credit cash. Um, it, it shall be debited to the investment in branch account. So, debit siya ng investment in branch account, credit siya ng cash. Since ang mag ng record kay C branch, no? so mag-debit siya ng equipment, mag-credit siya ng home office. And since yung depreciation is um, ang nag ng records man din ay si branch, so um, yung entry for depreciation, no? so walang entry kay home office. Kasi of course, the branch will record the depreciation. And since kay branch man din mag ng record to so the related accumulated depreciation na kay branch din. Okay. So, the last case will be uh, it was purchased by home office and recorded also in the home office. Uh, so, in this case, uh, since ang mag ng record man din is si, si home office, uh, so mag-debit siya ng plant asset, credit siya ng cash. But, um, so, branch books, since di man siya mag ng record, so walang entry. But, ang problem is that, 
um, si brunch pa rin ang mag-record ng expense. So, the same entry, no? Kanina, uh, mag-debit ng investment in brunch account si home office, credit siya ng accumulated depreciation. And then, kay ano, kay um, brunch, uh, mag-record siya ng depreciation expense, credit, home office. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, um, apportionment of expenses. Okay, so there are um, home office or the home office may allocate expenses to the branch such as um, yung expenses incurred by the branch but paid by the home office no? or expenses incurred by the home office on behalf of the branch. No? And then, um, mag-allocate ng expenses incurred by the home office, i-allocate niya kay branch. So, the entry for that, no, if if expenses ni branch uh, kibayaran ni home office, so, yung entry ni home office, it will increase the investment account, no, debit investment in branch account, credit cash. And then, since kay branch yun na expenses or uh, it is rightful naman din, no, na i-record ni branch as expenses niya. So, debit siya ng expenses, credit siya ng home office. No? Um, what if uh, allocation of previous expenses no, uh, to the branch? No? So, debit lang siya ng investment in branch, credit expenses, the same with kay branch, no? Uh, debit expenses, credit home office. And so, so um, importante lang nito, no? Um, if my expenses, no, si branch, tas ang, and then, ang nagbayad is home office or i-allocate the home office, si branch talaga is i-record yung expense. No? Mag-credit siya ng home office. Then, it's, that's, and that's an additional investment din naman kasi ni home office kay branch. So, no, if there are inventory transfer of cash, no, um, i-record lang siya, no, ni home office at saka ni, ni, anong branches. So, say for example, um, we have, um, home office instructed branch A to transfer cash to branch B for 50,000. So, yung entry niya, no, um, we have investment in branch B, no, kasi it will increase yung investment niya kay branch B, but will decrease sa investment in branch A, no. So, sa entry ni branch A, no, uh, debit home office credit cash. So, sa libro kasi ni home office, pwede several branches yan, so, Dapat um, i-separate din yun yung account titles, no? But sa libro ni branch, isa lang naman talaga yung office kasi di ba? Uh, home office and its branches, no? So, sa books ni branch B, being the recipient of the cash, so mag-debit siya ng cash, credit siya ng home office. Okay, so what if, no, we have inter-branch transfer of merchandise, no? So, the same as inter-branch transfer of cash, the home office may instruct one branch to transfer merchandise to another branch. So, pwede siya mag-instruct ng other branch no, to um, ship its uh, merchandise no, to um, other branches. No? So, um, problema lang dito is ang freight no? kasi um, the transfer of merchandise from one branch to another does not justify the increasing inventory value by the additional freight cost incurred because of it, indirect route, in, indirect routing kasi if it should have um, shift directly no? to the um, uh, branch no na uh, may instance na mas maliit yung freight na no? so say for example um, yung branch tagum yung home office ang branch is Mako and Mabini no Mako and Mabini so um, first na ship siya ng merchandise sa Mako and kay instruct niya si Mako na hoy ma uh, Mako mag transfer ka ng goods sa Panapo so 
Kasi yung goods, um, may freight to Mako and then mag-freight naman from Mako to Mabini. Andiyan no. So, if it was shipped directly from Tagum to Mabini, it could have a lesser freight, no? So, that excess freight charges will be absorbed by the home office and treated as an operating expense, no? Okay. Okay, so let's have an example, no? So, um, the home office shipped merchandise 20,000 to branch A and paid freight for 1,000. Now, the home office uh, instructed um, branch B to transfer um, the merchandise delivered to branch B. Uh, the home office instructed branch Okay, it should have been, no? but the home office instructed branch A to transfer merchandise delivered to branch B. Okay, so branch A incurred freight charges worth 800 because of the transfer of merchandise uh, to branch B. So if the, uh, if the home office shipped the merchandise to to branch B, the freight cost could have been 1, 2. Okay, so... Ano to ha? Uh, the home office instructed branch A to transfer merchandise to branch B. Kasi diba it was shipped first man to branch A. So parang ang mag-transfer si branch A ang mag-receive ng merchandise si branch B. Okay? So if if it was shipped directly to branch B, the freight cost should have been 1, 2, no? So may excess freight. So how do we compute for the excess freight, no? So, yung excess freight is, um, diba, um, yung 1,000, that's from home office to branch A. So, naka-incur, no? Okay. And then, um, when, when it was shipped from branch B, uh, from branch, branch A to branch B, no? Naka-incur na naman ng 800, no? Okay. So, yung total na freight na is 1,800. Pero, if it was shipped directly to B, it could have been only 1, 2. So, my excess freight na 600. And this 600 is additional expense sa side ni um, home office. No? So, how do we record these transactions? Okay. So, um, at the moment na get transfer no mag ship ng merchandise si um, home office kay branch um kay branch A no um the entry would be um debit siya ng investment no investment in A that's 21,000 credit ng shipments to A uh, 20,000 Credit siya ng cash, no? 1,000. This investment, uh, kasi ang nag, ano, um, nagbayad ng freight is si home office, no? So, ang mag-record ng freight, of course, the buying, ano, buy, uh, uh, yung mag-receive ng merchandise. So, si branch, uh, mag-record siya ng shipments from home office, amounting to 20,000. That's the cost of the merchandise. Assuming it was billed at cost. Uh, Mag-debit siya ng freight in for the freight, no? Na 1,000. Um, credit siya ng home office na 21,000. Okay? So, take note, ha? Uh, same yung investment in account. Investment in A, 21,000. home office, 21,000. So, that should always equal being um, yung reciprocal account. Um, if it so happened that the freight was paid by branch A, so may mga instances no, na um, instead of, um, kasi in this case, ang uh, bayad man is si, um, si home office. So what if no, ang, uh, ang nag-record, ang uh, nagbayad, ng, nagbayad ng freight ay si branch A. So yung entry lang ni ano, Entry lang ni, ano, ni home office, investment in A, shipments to A, 20,000. Kasi anong bayad ng freight is si branch A man. So yung entry ni branch A, debit ng shipments from home home office 20, freight in 1, credit home office 20, credit cash 1. Uh, so, um, in um, recording transactions, um, in this case, uh, bantayan nyo talaga yung sino nag-record na, uh, sino nag-bayad ng freight. 
just to a uh, record no? the freight okay so the moment no it was transferred na no it was uh, the by in instruction branch a na it transfer siya kay branch b so sa pag transfer no um si branch uh, kay branch a muna tayo na side so um debit siya ng home office no and then credit siya ng shipments from home office credit siya ng freight in so actually yung gidebit niya uh, gidebit niya um uh, yung entry niya uh, at the time it was shipped uh, um galing kay home office parang baliktad lang no gireverse niya yung entry no but Ano lang, kasi siya ang nagbayad ng freight, no? So, additional entry sa kanya. Debit home office, credit cash, no? Okay. Uh, pwede man din mumantong i-lump yung entry. So, pag i-lump yung entry, debit ka ng home office, 21,800, no? Credit ka ng shipments from home office, 20. Credit ka ng freight in, no? And credit ka ng cash, 800. Ano lang siya. Okay, so, may mga instances then, then na um, half, like for example, half lang ang transfer Half lang ang transfer ni branch A ka branch B. So, half lang din. Half lang yung shipments from home office na i-credit mo. Then, half din lang din yung freight. And of course, kung ano yung credit, yun mo din yung debit mo sa home office. Okay. And since, no, um, sa site ni Branch B, no, you always take note sa, um, yung branch na transferan ng goods o ng merchandise, ang e-record niya na freight is always yung freight na ma-incur if it was shipped directly, no, sa kanya. No? In this case, kasi si Branch B, di ba? Si, si Branch B yung transferan ng, um, ng merchandise. So, um, um, Branch B will debit shipments from home office na 20,000. No? Debit siya ng freight in. Freight in na 1,2. No? 1,2 is the amount of freight if it was shipped directly to Branch B. Okay, then credit siya ng home office, no, na 21,200. 21, okay, kasi di ba ang naka-incur ng freight is si branch A. If it so happened that um, branch B, uh, branch B, uh, fade of freight, of course, mag-credit lang si branch B ng um, cash, no. Okay. And then, sa books naman ni, ano, um, home office, niya, i-reverse niya yung entry, debit shipments to, uh, de uh, debit shipments to, um, shipments to A, then credit shipments to B, no? Parang ibaliktad niya lang, no? And then, um, kanito siya, no? Um, if, how much yung gidebit ni branch A sa home office? That should also be the credit ni, in, ni, ano, ni, branch, uh, ni home office investment in A. Diba? No? Again, if how much yung gidebit ni branch A no, sa home office, yun din yun dapat yung credit ni home office sa investment. Diba? Okay, uh, say for example ito, di ba? 21,800 kasi 21,000 plus 800, yan. And then, if how much yung kikredit ni Branch B as home office sa kanyang books, no? Yun din yung i-debit ni home office as investment ni Branch B. Okay? Kuha nyo, no? Kuha nyo yun, no? If how much yung gidebit ni branch A as home office, yun yung credit ni investment in investment in A sa home office books, then how much yung credit ni branch B 
as home, sa home office ko yan. Yan yung debit ni um uh, debit ni home office as invest uh, as investment in branch B. Dapat ang difference ng dalawa, no, is the excess freight, no? The one that we have computed kanina, di ba? Yung excess freight na compute natin is 600. Yun din yung dapat yung difference ni investment in B at investment in A, no? Okay, so, um, uh, we'll have another video, no, for, um, the preparation of separate financial statements of the, ano, the branch and how to prepare then consolidated financial statements, no, and, um, some illustrations also of record, um, mag-record the transactions in the branch. Okay, so, um, See you on the next video. Thank you.